Hi everybody, it's Angie, Treasured Vintage. I have a small haul to show you. I went to uh, a thrift store after I was done working at the church the other day. And also some things, a couple things I bought online. Let me show you those first. So, I forgot to show you this in my last video. I meant to, and I think I had it in the picture, but I forgot to show you. This is my newest Napier piece that I bought. It, it isn't a book piece, but um, it's kind of, I believe it's probably from the 70s. It's that uh, swirly look that they had in the 70s. And um, the marks, the Napier marks are consistent with that, that time period. So I think it's, you know, 70s, maybe 80s but I love it. I wish it was chunkier. That's the only thing. I wish it was about that big, but I love the design of it. So that's for my Napier. And this is something that I had these earrings for a good while. This is modern, more modern uh, Monet. And I had them for a while and uh, I wasn't really crazy about them. So I thought about selling them. The reason I wasn't real crazy about them is because they're they are newer and um they're they're nice i like i love the look of them but they are newer hence the quality is not quite as good um i'm used to turning over napier and, or excuse me monet and it looks just as good on the back as it does on the front but it's not the case with these but anyway i did see this necklace that matched online and I thought I think I'm going to buy that because it was a good price and put it with the earrings and list them in my Etsy. i um, going to say that they are 90s and uh, possibly you know I don't know I think they're I think they're late 90s pieces 2000 maybe but anyway I'm going to put those. I, I do love the style of, of the necklace a lot. I love the style, and I think everything on the front of it looks looks very good. Um, it's got that toggle closure that I do love. I love that. You just have to make sure you put it this, the right way so it, the uh, pendant doesn't turn over. But when you turn it over, yes, look at that. It's not pretty. I don't know why they can't be consistent with their finish. Now this this gold is not looking so bad, but the silver I just don't I just don't like that look around the edges. But you're not going to see that because it's going to lay like that, and then you've got the nice earrings to match, which I think is a really nice looking set, um, and the and the chain's in nice condition. So I'm going to put that in my Etsy see how that goes and uh at the thrift store oh no yeah at the thrift store i think we're ready for the thrift store stuff now i got this nice napier for two dollars and it is a book piece um i think it's from the 80s uh well i know it's from the 80s i think it's 1988 i found it in the book in the napier book so it's a really nice shape, and it's funny because this was hidden way back in the in the back of the a big necklace rack with a whole bunch of necklaces on it, and out front there were um, Sarah Coventry's for like five six dollars, <laughs> and the Napier was back there for two, which I think the Napier is a lot nicer than Sarah, but I like Sarah too. Don't get me wrong, but. I just prefer, if I would want to find a Sarah or a Napier, it would be a Napier for sure. And then I decided to keep this because it's kind of what, it's kind of, you know, what I would wear now uh, with with a neck mess. And it is a Cremence, so it's gold filled, I believe. Uh, whether it's gold filled or not. Think it is, or think it just, or maybe it just says Cremence there, but it's a very nice quality chain with a tiny little enameled uh, bloom and a pearl. 
So that is a very dainty, probably for, you know, for a kid really, but I can wear that um, with layered necklaces and it's very, very cute, very cute. And it's good quality. Cremants is always good to pick up. Uh, and this is, now I'm gonna forget the name of it. Um, NR, NR, it's marked NR on here. I think it's Nancy and Rice, uh, or Rise. Nancy and Rise, I think it is. I will have to uh, verify and make sure that's what it is. But when I saw that NR, I thought, now I don't really think that's Avon. I just, just had a feeling it was not Avon. It is uh, a company uh, from the 80s, I believe. I did look it up. It's called Nancy and Rise, and they make good quality jewelry. And this is a nice quality piece. And um, this was also at the thrift store for $350. It's a really pretty Y necklace. I think it's gorgeous. So, and that can go in my Etsy too. Um, I love the design on that. And it's, it's uh, like I said, it's nice quality metal. Uh, if you look up that company, they do make nice quality things. So then I got these Monet, they were $1.50. And I got this pretty bracelet for two dollars. I think the stones, the color of the stones is extra pretty. Now it's not, it's not gold, it's just gold tone, but um, I just think it's in really nice shape and nice condition. And I just got an order. Um, I also got this sterling uh, silver chain for 75 cents that I can put a nice pendant on, a nice vintage pendant. It'll look nice with it. It is, it's got a hook and it does say something on the hook, but I cannot make it out. It's very, very tiny. So it's a nice chain and I'll, I'll put an, an older, a vintage pendant on it. Nice, nice for 75 cents, I think. Then this is, these are sterling, and uh, I'm sure they're probably CZs, and very nice pair of earrings for $2. Let me have that towards the back. No, no missing stones, a nice, nice size, nice wearable size with the latch closures. And we have these, I just like these because I thought they looked kind of Byzantine or something. I like the style of them. 75 cents. Pierced. These are very pretty. I love the texture on those. And they're a nice shape. And a very nice uh, quality too. Very nice condition. So they aren't sterling. I put the magnet to them and they aren't sterling, but came on the sterling card and they aren't signed but still very nice I think they'll sell well and this was the uh, bonus at the thrift store I found gold again these are 14 karat gold with CZs and they are marked on the back uh, right there they are marked and they're they're from QVC they're Diamondique 14 karat DQ CZ, which is their marking for Diamondique CZ and 14 karat metal. So they will go in my Etsy shop too, I think. I think I'll have to do some more um, research on those, see what to do with those, what would be best to do with those. These are, this is a cute natural stone bracelet. I just usually don't buy these because usually the stones are small and they don't fit on the surfaces as well as this one did. I love the chunkiness of this one. Um, the colors of the stones are really pretty and um, 
it just it's really uniform so I like it a lot and it was a dollar I think that does it for the jewelry but I got some little picture frames which sell well for me and they were 25 cents a piece this one is golf themed and this one's pretty nice I, I like the the app applied designs on it and this one is a little double frame um, open work so this one I think I guess this was 25 cents also but that is all I have oh I wanted to show one other thing in the Monet book so I couldn't you know I, I was kind of on a buying freeze there but uh, for a while oh I missed something these big earrings, I can always sell huge earrings like this. And these are lightweight. They are in great shape. They are pierced. So they have that Omega back, which is a nice, nice back. So I got those, which are in style right now. Now I wanted to show you uh, in the Monet book. Uh, where is it? Okay, here it is. I got a necklace that is this um, pattern here. It's called All That Jazz. It's from the All That Jazz collection, but it is none of these that are in the book, but I just think that is so pretty. Um, this kind of a stained glass look and this muted uh, matte, kind of a rose gold color. So this was a collection from the 80s 1985 and um it's not i don't know if that's part of it or not but this is going to be it's going to be like a crescent a little bit smaller than than this on a um a snake chain and so i will show you that when i get it i'm looking forward to it and um that is all i have now some of these uh 80s are really cool i mean i wish that the book the Monet book would go further and have more items in it, like the Napier book does. Um, the Napier book is so comprehensive. I mean, there's just everything in it. But the Napier kind of stop, or the Monet, excuse me, kind of stops here at the 90s, and it doesn't have much of the 90s or the 80s really to to look at. I think it even stops at the 80s. I'm not sure if there's any 90s in here or not, actually. Forget. Is there any 90s? Oh, yeah, it does have some... It does have some things into the 2000s, but nothing, you know, not very much. See, my book is falling apart already from, from looking at it so much. But um, I had a chance to get this, but it's in a different color, and I just didn't want to... I just don't don't want it in the green colors. Um, I don't even know if I want it in the blue colors, I, but I really do like this. So, kind of reminds me of the arts and crafts period jewelry, which I love. It's my favorite. Arts and crafts is just a tiny period of jewelry, but it is so beautiful. So that is all I have for you. I've been picking my peonies. Uh, they are prolific. And I've just been going out and getting them whenever they come out and just, just bringing them in because they're so pretty. So that's all I have. Thank you for watching and I will be back. Oh, update on Desiree, my Sheltie. Uh, I'm pretty uh, disheartened. She, she has cancer. Well, that, that mass that we were waiting for to be uh, for, from pathology. We found out that it was cancer. So they think they got it all, but it is a, a type of cancer that follows the nerve. It's in, it, and it was encapsulated and it was in the nerve, nerve sheath. So it's a nerve sheath sarcoma. And those kind are known to grow back. And um, so we have to keep a very close eye on her going forward that that, uh, tumor does not grow back in the in the same spot and that's the story with that and I'm kind of mad I, I'm not gonna lie I'm kind of mad 
kind of upset about that. I just really, really was hoping that I wouldn't have to go through that again. And uh, I'm trying to get over that. I'm trying to get over my attitude about that because I know there must be a reason. So anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Thumbs up. And I hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.